Disgraced former Southern Charm star Thomas Ravenel is suing Bravo, trying to control what they air on new seasons. He also accuses the network of manipulating Catherine Dennis into using his children for a ratings boost. Now, Bravo is hitting back at Thomas's accusations and pointing out that he's a total hypocrite. According to The Blast, court documents reveal that Bravo is fighting back hard against Thomas Ravenel's lawsuit. First and foremost, attorneys for the network argue that Thomas filed in the wrong venue. Thomas's demand that the network shelve unaired footage of Thomas's children was filed in family court. Bravo is, notably, not the parent, guardian, or nanny to Kenzie or St. Ravenel. They are, in fact, a company. And they don't believe that this was a mistake. They say that Thomas's filing is a direct attempt to interfere, not only with their business, but with their First Amendment rights. Bravo says that Thomas's own actions and inactions show that his lawsuit against them is insincere. If Ravenel actually wants to stem the public flow of information about this custody dispute, Bravo suggests in court documents. Then his recourse is to stop his own public mudslinging in the pleadings he has filed in this case, they argue. The papers also suggest that Thomas stop posting photos and videos of his children on the Internet. If you don't want your kids publicly shown, then that's usually a good first step. Bravo then suggests that he join Dennis's request to seal this court's records, and slash or seek to restrain Dennis from discussing the case. But Bravo doesn't believe that Thomas really wants to do any of that. Instead, court documents reveal that Bravo noticed that Thomas had no problem with his family appearing on camera. For five years on Southern Charm, they say, it was never an issue for him. Given that he's only brought this up now that he is permanently off the show, Bravo says that Thomas's arguments ring hollow. Ravenel's actual interest appears to be to prohibit anyone besides himself from maintaining a public platform to discuss this lawsuit, Bravo writes. The court documents observe that Thomas is only doing this now that he is no longer a cast member on Southern Charm. Thomas has had a lot to say about Bravo and about Catherine the mother of his children. He has alleged that his ex, Catherine Dennis, regularly buys, sells, and exchanges drugs with others. That might not matter to Bravo, except that he claims that she makes these trades with her castmates and even her producers. Years of clean urine samples, he says, don't count as evidence that this is untrue. Conveniently, he also accuses Catherine of purchasing synthetic urine in order to pass drug screenings. And that's still not all that Thomas has alleged about Bravo. He says that the network and Southern Charm producers were the ones with the idea for Catherine to file for sole custody. Thomas says that she isn't filing out of maternal interest. Or out of maternal concern that a man whom many have said has a dark side and who will soon face trial for rape is the father of her children. He says that Bravo wanted Catherine to file for sole custody for the drama of it all. Very few custody battles are actually very interesting, despite the stakes involved. Even fewer have the sort of interesting content that can be effectively captured by cameras. Could Catherine use this custody battle as a storyline? Absolutely. It's part of her life. But it defies the imagination that she would launch such a personal, painful court battle simply as a grab for ratings. These are her kids. Occam's Razor tells us that she probably just filed for sole custody because she wants sole custody, not as a stunt at the behest of a network.